friends. Thanks for coming today to, for Story Starters for Younger Kids. When I opened up the Zoom room, I saw some of you had hats, so I had to quick like wear a hat today, put my hat on to, for this silly book. I'm going to read a book today called Pig and Goose and the First Day of Spring by Rebecca Bond. This is a shorter story. Sometimes I read long ones that... Um, are appropriate for children of the ages roughly four to eight. And sometimes I read short books that will introduce children to um, these early easy readers, early uh, chapter books for them to read. And that's what I have today here, Pig and Goose and the First Day of Spring. Today isn't really the first first day of spring, but it seems to be like one of the first really nice days. So I'm gonna read this book. Uh, this book has three chapters and I will be reading the first one called A Spring Morning. It was spring at last. Pig was in a good mood. The sun is shining, said Pig. The sky is blue, said Pig. Goody gumdrops, said Pig. I'm going to have a picnic by the pond. Pig packed a big lunch and set off. She began to skip, she began to hum, then she stopped. Up above in the clear blue sky, there was a small white dot. The dot got bigger and bigger. The dot came to land right by pig. The dot was not a dot at all. It was a goose. Hello, said pig. I am pig. Good morning, said goose. I am goose. Wow, Goose, Pig said with a sigh. How well you fly. Goose blushed. Shucks, he said, it's nothing. Oh, yes, cried Pig, it is something. I wish I could do that. It's not hard, said Goose. Maybe I could teach you. Really, said Pig, me? Yeah, said Goose, why not? Ooh, squealed Pig, goody gumdrops. To begin, said Goose, you need to run fast like this. Goose started to run. To begin, said Pig, I need to run fast like this. Pig started to run too. Next, shouted Goose, flap your arms like this. Goose flapped his wings. Next, shouted Pig, flap my arms like this. Pig flapped her arms. <laughs> last yelled goose let the wind lift you up like this last yelled pig let the wind lift me up like this pig waited for the wind to lift her up the wind did not lift her up i run faster thought pig i'll flap harder thought pig still the wind did not lift her up Soon Pig was panting. She had to slow down. She had to stop. Pig bent over and took gulps of air. Ugh, said Pig. Goose landed beside her. Pig, said Goose, that was a very good try. Yes, huffed Pig, that was my best try. Goose and Pig stood in the road and were silent for a bit. The sun was hot and Pig was very thirsty. Goose, said Pig. Yes, answered Goose. I have never seen a pig fly, admitted Pig. I have never seen a pig fly either, agreed, agreed Goose. I would look very dumb, stated Pig. You might look a little silly, said Goose. Pig put her head back and laughed loudly. Goose held his belly and laughed too. They rolled in the road and they snorted and they honked. They laughed until they cried. Goose, said Pig finally. Pig, answered Goose. Let's go eat my picnic by the pond. That, said Goose, is a very good idea. Yes, agreed Pig. I thought so too. Mm. 
And here we have the next chapter, chapter two, a picnic lunch. But I can only read the one chapter today. So I hope that you will want to go check out Goose and Pig and the first day of spring and find out what other adventures Goose and Pig have together as they learn to be good friends. As I said, if you look on the spine, it says easy. And so these books that I'll be reading for the next couple of weeks are in the easy readers so that you can find them and practice reading with them. I hope that you will go out and play in this beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye friends.